एक्सरसाइज 2.5 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच इज विच इज ग्रेटर फर्स्ट पार्ट इज 0.5 और 0.05 Now first we'll compare them by seeing the left hand side of the decimal point. Here, here both the numbers have zero in the left hand side. So we will now compare them by seeing the right hand side of the decimal point of both the numbers. Now starting from the tenth place, this number has five, and this number has zero in its tenth place. Now five is greater than zero. This means zero point five is greater than zero point zero. Question number one part two is zero point seven or zero point five. So first we'll compare them by seeing the left hand side of the both the numbers. So both the numbers have zero in the left hand side. So we will now compare them by seeing the right hand side of the decimal number. Starting from the tenth place, this number has seven in its tenth place, and this number has five in its tenth place. So we know that seven. Seven is greater than five, so we can say that zero point seven is greater than zero point five. Question number one third part is seven or zero point seven. Now we know that whole number is always greater than decimal numbers. Now here seven is a whole number and zero point seven is a decimal number, so we can say that seven. Is greater than zero. question number one fourth part is one point three seven or one point four nine. Here we can see that both the numbers have one in the left hand side of the decimal point. So we will compare them by seeing the right hand side of the decimal point. Starting from the tenth place, this number has three in its tenth place, and this number has. Four in its tenth place, so we, uh, four is greater than three. So we can say that one point three seven is smaller than one point four nine. Question number one, part fifth is two point zero three or two point three zero. Here we can see that both the numbers have two on the left hand side of the decimal point. So we will compare them by seeing the right hand side of the decimal point. So starting from the tenth place, this number has zero in its tenth place, and this number has. Three in its tenth place, and we know that three is greater than zero, so we can say that two point zero three is smaller than two point three zero. Question number one, part six is zero point eight zero or zero point eight eight. Here we can see that both the numbers have zero on the left hand side of the decimal point, so we will compare them by seeing the right hand side of the decimal point. Here, uh, starting from the tenth place, here eighth is the tenth place, and here also eighth is the tenth place. So both are equal. So we will now, um, now we will compare them by seeing the hundredth place. So here hundredth place is zero, and here hundredth place is eight. Now eighty is smaller than eighty-eight. This means a was zero point eight zero is smaller than zero point. Two point five. Question number two is express as rupees using decimal. First part is seven pies. So to first convert into rupees into decimal, first we should know that rupees one is equals to hundred pies. Okay. Now we have seven pies. And we have to find that how much rupees it would be in decimal form. So rupees is equals to. So to make the seven pies into decimal into rupees, we will first convert into fraction. So fraction seven divided by hundred because rupees one is equals to hundred pies. So now we have got. Rupees is equals to seven by hundred. So, but we have to convert into decimal. So, to convert into decimal, so zero point. Now here we can see hundred has two zeros. This means that in the decimal place of right hand side, it should have two digits. Now, but we have only one digit which which is seven. So we will put a zero in the tenth place and seven will go in the Hundredth place. So this means that rupee is zero point zero seven. Is the question number second? Second part is seven rupees seven pies. So we know that rupee is one is equals to hundred pies. Now, so rupees. Uh, rupees is equals to we have seven rupees and seven pies. We will not divide hundred with seven rupees because. 
seven rupees is already in the rupees form. So we will only divide hundred with seven pies because we have to convert it into um, rupees. So seven plus seven by hundred. So is equal to now seven plus seven by hundred. So seven is in rupees. So it will go in the whole number side, which is in the left side of the decimal. Point uh, seven by hundred. So the hundred has two zeros. So there would be two digits in the right hand side of the decimal. But we have only seven. So we will put a zero in the tenth place, and seven will go in the hundredth place. This means rupees. Seven point zero seven is the answer. question number two. Sec third part is seventy seven rupees seventy seven pies. So we know that rupees one is equals to hundred pies. Now. Rupees is equals to. We will not divide hundred with seventy seven rupees because it is already in the rupees form. So seventy seven plus. We will divide hundred with seventy seven pies because we want to make it into rupees. So is equals to seventy seven is in rupees. So it will go in the left side of the decimal point. And now seventy seven by hundred. The hundred has two zeros. This means that two digits should be there. Now seventy seven has two digits, so it would be go in the tenth and hundredth place. So seventy seven. This means rupees seventy seven point seven seven is the question answer. number two part fourth is fifty pies. Now we know rupees one is equals to hundred pies. So rupees is equals to now fifty pies. We have to convert into rupees. So fifty divided by hundred is equals to hundred has two zeros. So this means two digits should be there in the right hand side of the decimal point. So fifty has two two digits. So this means no need to add any zeros. So this means rupees zero point five zero is the question answer. number two fifth part is two three five pies. So we know that rupees one is equals to hundred pies. Now rupees is equals to two three five because it's pies. So two three five divided by hundred. Now hundred has two zeros. This means that. The number should uh, the decimal point should be uh, put in in the second place from the last. So we have two, three, and five. Now second place from the last is this one. So here the point would be. So the answer is rupees two point three five. 